Hey guys, uh, happy Friday. <laughs> um, I hope you worked really hard this week and had some fun. It was a little less hot. <laughs> so hopefully you got some outside walks. Um, today we are gonna read a story. It's been a while since I just read you a story. Um, and it has some good interesting stuff in it. Some onomatopoeia, it's got some good similes. So this story is called Froggy Builds a Treehouse. Froggy woke up and looked out the window. The sun was rising in the sky like a giant pizza. There we go, we got that simile. Comparing the sun to pizza. Pizza sang Froggy. And that gave Froggy a great idea. He hopped out of bed and got dressed. Zip, zoop, zup, 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 zup. <laughs> then he flopped into the kitchen, flop, 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 and said, Mom, I'm going to build a treehouse. You can do lots of cool things in a treehouse without any adults around, like play cards, tell jokes, and order out for pizza. That's nice, dear said mom. Are you going to help build it all by yourself? <laughs> no, with a little help from my friends. Now I'm going to ask you, on those two pages there was some onomatopoeia. Think back. If you were thinking flop flop flop, you were right. Froggy hopped and flopped toward Max's. Flop flop flop. Now remember, onomatopoeia is when the word sounds like the sound it makes. So when you say the word flop, it actually sounds like a flop. Froggy, called his mom. What? You forgot to eat your breakfast, dear. I'm not hungry. Hmm, <laughs> sounds like some of you at lunchtime. <laughs> when you want to go play rather than eat. When he got to Max's house, he yelled, Max, Max, come out. And he told Max all about his great idea. Awesome, cried Max. And the two friends went over to Matthew's and came back to Froggy's house with hammers, nails, saws, and boards. And Travis's. Hmm. Travis's what? Oh, got it. Okay, and the two best friends went over to Matthew's and Travis's. Okay, so they're gathering the people and the items. Then they started building the treehouse with a little help from Dad. First they sawed boards. Zizaw, zizaw. Then they nailed them to the trunk so they could climb up. Zing, zing, zunk. Then they built a floor. Floggy! Called Polly Wagalina. What? Me want to help. Go away, cried Froggy. No pesky little sisters allowed. So interestingly, all of the mammals have sort of human names, and um, <laughs> Froggy and Polywagalina have names that have to do with um, their, their species, which is interesting. Froggy started to saw a branch. Zizaw, zizaw. Froggy, called Frogalina, hopping over the fence. What? You're sawing yourself off with the branch. Hee 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 hee. <laughs> Oops, I know that, cried Froggy. Now go away. No girls allowed. Just me and my friends. Froggy and his friends started putting up the boards for the walls. Oops, cried Froggy. But only a few boards fell. Bonk. Pretty clear where the onomatopoeia is there. Then he started pounding nails again. Zing, zing, zoey! <laughs> so, you guys have to look closely at the picture. Zowie, what do you think happened? I'll kiss it, cried Frogalina. Yuck, cried Froggy. Go away. He climbed down and held up his thumb to his mom. Mom put a band aid on Froggy's thumb. Now, do you want something to eat? Not until we finish our treehouse, said Froggy. Then we'll call out for pizza. <laughs> I 
It says Froggy's Treehouse, boys only, but a lot of it's spelled wrong. But by the time they finished the treehouse, the sun was setting. Froggy dropped his hammer, zonk. Oops, watch out below, and yelled, we're starving. We want to call out for pizza now. Froggy's mom climbed up, called Swamp Pizza, and let Froggy order. We want an extra large pizza with lots and lots of flies. Not on my slice, said Max. Not on my slice, said Matthew. Not on my slice, said Travis. Whatever, said Froggy. When the pizza finally came, Froggy grabbed the box and started climbing up. He climbed and the pizza wobbled. He climbed and the pizza tipped. And just as he reached the top, the pizza dropped down, down, down. No! Oops, cried Froggy, looking more red in the face than green. Caught it, cried Frogalina. Wow, cried Froggy, lucky catch. I have a surprise for you, Froggy, said Frogalina. If you let me into your tree house. Well, said Froggy, only if I like the surprise. So Frogalina scampered up like a monkey, opened the box and said, surprise, and sprinkled on lots and lots of flies. Yes, cried Froggy, yippee. And he took a big bite. Yum, this pizza's frogalicious. Let's call out for another one. Wait, let's make that five pizzas. And Froggy and his friends ate pizza. Munch, crunch, munch. There's that onomatopoeia again. Played cards, slap, slap, slap. And told jokes. In Froggy's treehouse. Oh. So, <laughs> maybe you could think about what you like on your pizza or what your favorite animal would like on their pizza. Uh, thinking about the conflict in the story. The conflict is the problem, right? Um, what do you think was the main problem in the story? Was it the little sister? Was it the pizza falling down? When you know who the protagonist was, right? The protagonist was Froggy. And let's see what other words do you know. The setting of the story um, at Froggy's house, right? And in his yard. Uh, setting characters. Oh, point of view. So it is told from an outsider perspective, sort of watching, telling the story about the others. So that is third person. That's someone outside the story. Um, remember, first person is when it's using I or me, and the person that's telling the story is also in the story. So... Uh, that if it was told from Froggy's perspective, he would say, I hopped out of bed, I got dressed, I dropped the pizza. So, <laughs> there we have it. Froggy builds a treehouse. Maybe you guys can do something out buildy and outdoorsy in honor of this this weekend. All right, guys, happy Friday. Have a good day. See you all on Monday.